Hey, what's up everybody here at Cedar Ray Golf Club where Matt and I are members just hanging out hitting some chips. So I'm going to run Matt through a series of chips to show you guys how to use the bounce properly and how we can apply it to a real in-game setting. Uh, Matt almost just chipped that out. So um, Matt's been hitting it quite good, you know, averaging 12 greens every 18 holes, which is pretty good, but we got to get the short game a little bit better. So Matt has told me that he's been struggling with a little bit of these short chips here. So here at Cedar Bay Golf Club, the practice screen is actually quite sloped, which fits our exercise well because I generally like to see most chips land pretty soft. So as you play premium greens with firm, you know, firm greens, fast, I generally like chips landing soft and relying on that instead of relying on the spin, okay? So Matt, let's hit some here. So you've, you, you've actually hit a few so far. Um, Ideally, as you get better, I would like to see the ball land two paces on the green. So a couple that you've been hitting so far has been carrying, let's say, three or four paces, which is fine. But as you get better, I would like to see you land somewhere there exactly. Yeah, so uh, roughly two paces on just so that we can maximize the rollout of it. Yep. Um, so let's see, but we still want to land it soft, okay? So we know that when we, when we chip, we want to hit it roughly an inch fat, right? An inch behind the ball. Right. Yep, an inch behind the ball with the bounce of the club. So that was no ground, okay? So Matt just demonstrated a really good typical miss for most amateurs where they tend to um, top the ball almost, like not really top, but thin the ball on these short chips just because they try to baby it too much. So that's the reason why we want to hit the ground first so that those thins should never happen. So let's really try to hit the ground here, Matt. Much better. So hit a great chip, hit it one yard past our landing spot, but it's still pretty good. He has roughly six feet to the hole. Um, Matt, just close out your stance a little bit so it's more neutral in the feet alignment. More neutral feet, so there we go, good. So most typical chips we like will have roughly neutral feet alignment just because we don't want the club cutting across too much. Really good there. A lot straighter, which is good. So, uh, so you can still, as you can see, land it closer to our two yard mark, right? A too hard. Yep, a little too hard. And you're playing these square face mat or, or a little bit open? Yeah. Okay. Perfect, good. So I hope you guys can see how soft that one landed because it's very evident he hit the ground first there, but because we hit it with the bounce of the club, that's what matters, okay? And, and you're never gonna chunk it. How'd that one feel, Matt? It's good. Okay, good. Felt dead off the face? Yeah, very soft. Okay, good, yeah. So we want soft greens, soft landings. Really good there. So again, really soft landing. Good, really good. I'll just do a couple on the face on angle for you guys to look at while Matt grabs a few balls for, for us. These are feeling pretty good so far, Matt? Yeah, so far so good. Okay, good. Trying to, feel, uh, trying to feel the club get in the ground a bit more. Yeah, exactly, yes, yes. Yeah. So we want to entry point with these are always roughly one inch behind the ball. Um, with the technique that we do with, you know, using the bounce first, you can afford to be two, three inches behind the ball when you play, but still gonna work out okay just because we're creating such a flat spot through the hitting area. Okay there. Yep, that's perfect. Really good there. So that ball landed super soft, as you guys can see, almost went in if it wasn't for the ball block in the way. Beautiful, so super soft there again, two yards on. Rolls out pretty nicely. So typically as a player gets better, I like them using their own golf ball so that spins properly, but just for the purpose of this exercise, we'll use range balls just to really um, magnify the importance of having the ball come out really soft and landing really soft. 
really good there. So again, you can see he hits roughly an inch and a half before the ball. Ball came out super soft and actually stopped short of the green, so short of the hole. Pretty impressive, I would say. Really good there, Matt. Okay, so you see the ball lands really soft, trickles out really soft. Really good there. Okay, let's hit one more for them off of this basic standard chip. Really good. Yeah, great use of the bounce there. Lands it soft, rolls out. Really good. So that's that's the demonstration for you know a standard chip just off the green, a short one. We'll show you more from the rough in another video, but you know, any questions leave in the comments below and we'll catch you next time. Thanks guys.